So you have a remote I.O. network that's running fine, but comprised of older hardware that's been discontinued. Spares are becoming harder to find and there's just not enough downtime to upgrade your old system with a new Ethernet IP based control system. This upgrade will require you to pull Ethernet cables and fiber all throughout your current running line, rewire all your control hardware, and reprogram and commission the control system. If everything does not go to plan, there will be production loss from the extended downtime. You'll have to do it someday, and it's going to hurt. A logic system can be deployed on top of the existing remote I.O. infrastructure, allowing users to upgrade their legacy I.O., drives, HMIs, and other end devices in a phased manner. Upgrading of your control system can now be done one node at a time during scheduled downtime, saving time and money. We'll now walk through a typical migration process. It's broken up into five phases, each of which can be carried out at your convenience. For applications with older Allen Bradley drives and panel views on remote I.O., a ProSoft Technology AN-X2AB Rio Migration Gateway can be deployed. The AN-X2 translates the Rio protocol to Ethernet IP and back again. This will allow you to upgrade to new PowerFlex drives and PanelView Plus 6 terminals that use Ethernet IP without modifying your PLC program. The next phase is to install the Ethernet IP to Belden Bluehose industrial media converters. The industrial media converters can be installed easily during scheduled downtime as they require no configuration. Each network has one master media converter device and one or more slave media converters, one for each drop point on the network. The converters use a trunk drop topology to transport data between master and slave units. Each converter has three Ethernet ports as well as one drop and one trunk port. The drop connection is used for the local remote I.O. network segment and the Ethernet ports are used for the local Ethernet network segment. These two signals are combined into a complex waveform in the media converter and then sent out through the trunk connection on the new trunk line. There can be up to 1300 feet between drops without a repeater and with repeaters it's possible to reach the 10,000 foot maximum cable length. Once wired in, your remote I.O. system is running just as before but your Bluehost cable now supports Ethernet as well as remote I.O. data. The control logic system can be configured and the PLC5 program converted while your remote I.O. system continues to run as normal. When you have your program converted, a 1756 Rio module can be used in the control logic system to take control of the remote I.O. devices during regularly scheduled downtime. If there are problems with the program, you can simply switch back to the old PLC5 and not skip a beat, reducing the risk of prolonged downtime. Once the new control system is running smoothly, you may begin upgrading your remote I.O. nodes to Ethernet IP devices one at a time as scheduled downtime permits. As each remote I.O. node is decommissioned, you end up with spares. So now you don't have to wait for an extended scheduled downtime to upgrade your remote I.O. system. By the end of this phase, your entire control system is running on current hardware. That's how easy it is to implement a phased migration plan for your entire system using ProSoft technology Ethernet to Belden 9463 Bluehose industrial media converters. And it's important to note that you can implement some or all of these phases or jump straight to an ethernet based system. The choice is yours. To learn more, visit our website at www.prosoft-technology.com or give us a call.